Hi my friends, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new subscribers and happy Monday. It is time for a brand new week and a new episode of the hashtag color and create with us You Rock Art. And this is hosted by my dear friend Rosemary at You Rock Art and I'll link to her in the description below. And myself, we decided to co-host this beautiful collaboration and all of you are invited to participate. And it is coloring in her weekly prompt that she gives out from this coloring book here. But I do want to stress that you can use any coloring that you want. If you want to use a colored stamped image, if you want to use a different coloring book, anything that you would like to color that works. And then you can take some of those items that you color and create with those. So there is the color and create. You can do one, you can do both. And this is such a wonderful book that she has chosen for all of us. Cheers, my friends, it is Monday. I'm gonna need two of those. <laughs> this is the lovely coloring book. And this week she gave us the prompt. Oh, I can't wait to color this one. She gave us the jam page and she does have one that she chooses each week for you to color. I should have earmarked this, but I didn't. There you go. This is what she chose for us for this week. And so you can see there it is a beautiful jar of jam, which I love, especially if it is the homemade one, the preserves. Oh my goodness. And then here I turned mine into little blackberries and I did use the same coloring from the crayons. And this is from their 64 pack limited birthday edition and this was such a fun page to color so thank you rosemary this was a lot of fun this week my create is not from a coloring book and i did color this stamped image here and it is an old one from my favorite things and it is an a la mode and this is a four leaf clover that she's holding and I just think this is so adorable this was so much fun to create I decided to play around with a stencil and I did something a little bit different instead of inking this up and doing this which I did on a previous card and a couple of other backgrounds that you'll see soon once this was filled with all that distress ink from doing this, I decided to spritz it with water and then just press it down into the paper just like that and it came up with this gorgeous background absolutely love how this turned out i am so in love with this beautiful background so i'm definitely going to do that again and then i added on here a little bit of vellum which i love to do and then i just computer printed out i'm lucky to know you because this stamp set does have a couple of stamps uh sentiments but i wasn't really happy with how they were looking so i just made one of my own <laughs> which is the part that i love so much about being creative is you can do whatever you want it's your creation and then it's blank on the inside for now and so that is my share for today i did some coloring of this little cutie here so i can put this in the mail to a very dear friend. I am having an absolute mess happening over here on this side of my camera. Things are cascading and falling down. So we have some creating and we have some coloring. Can't wait to pop around, see what you all have made today. Make sure you hashtag color and create with us you rock art so that we can find what you have colored today and that's going to be it for this one my friends come back soon i do have an amazing dollar tree haul with some brand new and wishless items coming right up and if you like this content please consider hitting that thumbs up if you can subscribe with your notifications on i would absolutely love that leave me a comment helps me find your channel and i will see you very soon Bye bye